gonna be about the scar I have right here. Come on. This one. And it goes down to almost my belly button. Hold on. something about um, my bad blood was mixed with my good blood which I don't really understand what that means but I just know that that wasn't supposed to happen so I had my surgery twice and I was supposed to die in six months but I didn't and you know what like I'm happy I didn't die because I kind of like my life wait that's it yeah that's all I know and I know a lot of people um have had this I know um he's not really my friend no more because like people change I guess so there's this dude his name is Brian he's not special so I'm gonna say his name he had it too I don't know if he could have died probably could you? I don't know Mm -hmm. So, what's another story? Okay, so that's one story. The second story, this is just going to be a whole bunch of story times. Okay, second story is about, this was two years ago. And everybody know I'm from Garland. So, um, so I, live in Gar I lived in Garland like all before I moved to Wiley. And I moved to Wiley at the middle of sixth grade. Okay. So this was at the start of sixth grade. And this was literally the start of sixth grade. So the first day of school, um, I got checked in and you everybody know I was late. I was late. This ain't nobody business though. So I was late and I forgot something happened. And I had to end up going home and I couldn't start till the second day. Whatever. I just know that the second day or was it the third day? I don't know. It was either the second or third day. So I met this dude. I'm going to call him Chico. Okay, so I met this dude. His name is Chico. And Chico. I don't know. Now I think about it now. Chico is not that cute. But he asked me out. And he was like talking to stuff in gym class and everything. Then he asked me out. And I was like, <laughs> yeah. I don't have to do that, but I was like, yeah, and it was like a cute little relationship, I guess. What is this? Like, it's brown. Uh, I never ate them this big, though. But he asked me out, and I was like, yeah, and it was around, you know, the start of the school year. It's football season, and I would go to football games. And be like, <laughs> go Chico, you know. Woo! <gasps> and it just be so cute because I thought he really loved me. But, um, oh, it fell on the floor. Ew, there's hair on it. <laughs> Yo, I'm done. I don't even want this shit no more. Yeah, dude, I'm still gonna eat it. Okay. So, I would go to football games and everything, and then I had to eat up. He cheated on me. He was cheating on me with this this white girl, 
named Emma. Emma's not really special on this, so Emma and Y'all didn't know how much I wanted to run up on her. I was like girl and then people I guess her friends it was hyping up and everything like yeah fight her fight her I'm like run up you gonna get done up I'm just saying and then I had this friend at the time I don't know we're not really friends no more I don't know what happened but she moved and everything but it's not the point so her name was Elisa everybody know her go to web everybody knew her everybody knew her I don't know if y'all so we was like good friends. Like she was like my my sister or whatever. So she was hyping me up. She was like, you need to run up on her. Like the like run up on her. I'm like, girl. Okay, everybody know I want to run up on her and everything. But if I get a whooping, if I get if I get suspended, you get a whooping. It's gonna be your fault and it was just like all this and then i forgot what happened she, oh she went and told the police that i wanted to fight her because <coughs> you know everybody got the little police officer on campus or whatever and she went and said ariana know she want to fight me and uh, basically everybody act like i just bullied him i'm not a bully okay i'm very nice so that happened and somehow we ended up being friends i don't know it was weird so me and i said we broke up Ooh, ooh, it was on a friday and first of all he asked me out on uh what's it called musically directly don't say name don't say name you was in you was fresh out of fifth grade so um uh, yeah, he asked me on Musical.ly. I was like, hmm. And he broke up with, him, with me on Musical.ly. Or no, was it in per It wasn't in person, because, girl, I would have... Hmm, you know, okay. I, was, I wasn't I was really sad. I was just like, dang, bruh. Thought you liked me. Hmm. He didn't like me. So we broke up. And then this... I told y'all the full story. I was only supposed to tell y'all like a little bit because this video is getting mad long. Okay, excuse me. So, this was the middle of sixth grade. No, not the middle of sixth grade. Like, well, because I moved to um to Wiley the second semester. This is like the end of the first semester, basically. Getting closer to no, because I was saying. Never mind. <laughs> Ew. So, basically, it was it was about this about time for me to move, and we had broke up. No, it wasn't the end of the semester. It was like the second month of school. Hold on, I'm just got. Okay, hold on. This was the second month of school, or the third th the third month of school. So. Um, I really hope I didn't say his name because I've just I've just been talking and going on and going on but we um what was I I'm so slow okay so we were uh what was I saying we broke up and it was getting close to time for me to move or around that time around that time so Okay, so yeah, and then oh yes, so oh, bruh. By this point, we was friends. We broke up and we became friends. So okay, so we became friends. Okay, I'm done. I'm gonna stop because I'm so just unfocused. Okay, so we became friends. This was one day after school. We was walking home together, and my grandpa and my mom, they was um pulled over. I didn't even know they was picking me up. It's not like they were sneaking up on me or anything. They didn't know I was with him. We was just walking home as friends, 
So I'm like, oh, they're picking me up. Okay, that's cool. I don't have to walk all the way down there. Even though it's not that far. So I get in the car. I'm like, hey, what's up? And then my grandpa, he cr like cracks a little joke. He's like, is that your boyfriend or something? I'm like, no, it's not my boyfriend. He used to be. Who says that we got black parents? Who say? Who said that? Who? Don't don't nobody say that. But I I thought I was thought I was bold. I think he, no. And then they was like, "What?" Because I'm from back seat. They turned around. They was like, "Okay." And I was surprised my mom didn't say nothing because she would have already slapped me in my mouth by then, but she didn't. So I was like, "Who?" I'm like, I'm allowed to date or something. No, I was like, "Oh, am I allowed to date?" I was just thinking that. No, I'm still not allowed to date. So, um. <coughs> I say so so many times okay so we went home and it was just regular but my grandpa he kept bobbing me. I was like so who is this what his name what his name is what where he lived I don't know I don't know fresh out of freaking elementary I don't know so don't even count how many times I said so? Please don't. Please don't do me like that. So, um, that Friday goes by. It's Saturday. And I'm like, hey, it's Saturday morning. And this one teacher, everybody hated, or maybe it was just me. I don't know. She hated me. I hated her. Her name was Miss Spencer. Miss Spencer, I know you ain't gonna see this, but I. If I see you out of school or something, I'm gonna mess you up. It's like, oh. Still, she had me all the way bent. So she called my mom. And I had just learned how to do the splits or whatever. And she called my mama. She told her that I was doing the splits in the hallway. And she told me to get up, and I wasn't getting up. Girl, like, why would you have to add all that? Like, that's a fat lie. Why would I not get up? Are you dumb? Are you stupid or idiotic? Or maybe just retarded? Like, mm -mm. so she said, um, yes, Ariana, she does not listen. She was not getting up, and I told her to get up multiple times or whatever, and I got a whooping. First of all, you already know when you get a whooping. Maybe it's just black moms. I don't know. Black moms, they love the kids. So, I don't have a belt. Okay, pretend this is the belt. And this is me. This is me. She's like, didn't I tell you? Uh, uh. Like, oh, I'm just like cutting up. Like, you didn't have to whip me this hard. Like, I, look, he's like, you didn't do this. Speak my way. When I, when I send you to the schoolhouse, I. I'm just, I was cutting up. Like, she didn't have to do that. She did she not. So, I got whooped. And after that, she made me go fix her closet. And then, I was on punishment for the rest of the weekend. I'm happy she didn't have to come up to the school or nothing. I thought she was going to come up to the school. Because she, she would like, I guess, she, maybe she wasn't joking. She just forgot about it or something. She had to go to work. I don't know. She was like, I'm going to go up to that school. I'm going to find that little boy, Chico, whatever his name is. And I'm going to call you out. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. So those two little story times. And I'm not going to really edit this because I don't have nothing to say. Like, this is, I'm not editing nothing that's taken this long. Like, 14 minutes of editing. No, it's 14 minutes of this video, but I'm just like, oh, no, no, no. No. But, yeah. So, I need to figure out where my friend is going to get here. Because if it rain, I'm not going outside and rain. Because I got me a hair appointment on Saturday. And... If it rains, it's gonna get pushy and I don't, I don't like that. Okay. Well, yeah, like and subscribe and share with your friends and 
We'll talk to y'all later.